identify the following device so if you see this this is going to be your prep start so that has to do something with the cavity preparation right cavity preparation now if we see uh, the options one is the diagnodent now this diagnodent is a device that is used for diagnosis of the cavities or the caries actually okay so it is a caries detection device then you have the air abrasion unit we'll come to this then we have the pulse oximeter so that is used for measuring the vitality of the pulp okay and that generally detects the vitality of the blood vessels then you have electronic pulp tester that also checks the vitality okay vitality of the pulp is checked by using the electronic pulp tester although this is not a definitive method yes uh, this generally check the status of the nerve status of nerves so we are left with one that is known as air abrasion unit so the air abrasion unit which is also called as the kinetic cavity preparation device is a device which is used to prepare the cavity and it is basically an instrument if i just talk about the air abrasion unit air abrasion unit this is basically a instrument that works like a mini sand blaster mini sand blaster and it is used to spray away spray away the decay now what kind of sand is coming to it so actually the particles which are generally 27 micron thick or we can also use 50 micrometer thick particles and these particles are generally uh, sprayed over the decayed surface with high pressure okay these are spread over the decay surface with high pressure and when they strike the surface of the decay they will be uh, flushing away they will be breaking away the decayed particles and then they are the, even the decayed particles or the carious particles are um, suctioned away from the suction right so that is the whole principle about this particular uh, air abrasion unit so what are the advantages i will be just discussing the advantages of this system so the advantages is one thing most of the uh, patient are uh, scared about the sound right the drill sound actually so it is it does not produce no sound is produced no heat no pressure no vibration so this make the patient more compliant right no vibration will be there and that will be increasing the compliance of the patient the second thing uh, air abrasion this reduces the need for anesthesia so anesthesia is not required especially for shallow cavities when we use the air abrasion actually so that will leave healthy tissue behind much more healthier tissue behind okay there won't be more frictional damage there won't be more uh, you know heat damage to the vital tissue because it is not going to create any heat or all it will be just striking striking away the smooth part that is the decayed part from the enamel surface right and one more important thing about the air abrasion that reduces the risk of micro fracturing and chipping of the tooth reduces the risk of chipping of the tooth and micro fracturing and that's why that reduces the chances of failure of restoration now i'll be discussing about the disadvantage of this particular device so if i just talk about the disadvantage of the air abrasion unit then the first disadvantage is that it is not necessarily totally painless the air can cause sensitivity and so it can uh, uh, like it can be 
abrasive to use right so uh, the thing is it is not totally painless and can cause sensitivity sometimes due to the abrasive nature of this the particles which we are using right air abrasion is not recommended for deep cavities it is just recommended for not for deep cavities it is recommended for shallow cavities only and one more important thing where this particular uh, system is used to or is compatible with the system which are having the bonding capacity that means it is compatible to composite tree solution but we cannot do the amalgam filling as well as the bond filling in this because that requires proper retention feature but you do not have the control here and you cannot prepare the conventional cavity using the air abrasive system so yes there will be requirement of the composite so better bonding materials are required so uh, what is the basic need behind this particular air abrasion system actually for its success better bonding restorative materials are very important okay so that is the thing so if you just try to understand the whole concept behind this prep start this device is basically a device that is used for creating um, uh, preparing the cavities right preparing the uh, uh, tooth structures by using a stream of small particles these particles can be of the alumina of course and these are around 27 micron are the most commonly used although 50 micron are also there okay so if you are using 50 micro there will be more and more larger cavity preparation but if you are using 27 there will be more control and small conservative cavity preparation will be there so answer to this question is going to be of course air abrasion unit that is option 2